Hey guys, how are ya? I'm doing good. Had a blast yesterday. As you saw, the prices were woo, way up there. As a matter of fact, most of the stuff that I bought yesterday was at yard sales and one estate sale on the way to and back from the flea market. Yep. Um, you guys saw that guy wanted $50 for that Pyrex because it was new in the box. Well, guess what? I'll bet you he took that new in the box Pyrex back home with him because nobody is going to spend that kind of money unless they are purchasing for themselves for their collection. Um, and even then I don't. I don't know. It depends how bad somebody wants it, I guess. But I wasn't going to pay that price. And that piece of jadeite I had in my hand, that would have been my first piece of jadeite ever. And he wanted, I think it was $15 or $18 for that little vase. I'm like, ah, uh, no. So I didn't buy very much at the flea market. But let me show you the goodies that I got at the yard sales on the way there. First yard sale we stopped at, I think it was the first one. I picked up this very cute rooster. As you know, I love my roosters. And he's actually um, a salt or a pepper shaker. He's a pretty large one at that. He's got the holes right there. I just actually noticed that. And yeah, he does have some paint loss, but that's an easy fix. I, I got him for myself, so uh, he needs to be cleaned up. But he's very cool. And uh, it's hand-painted, and it says ESD Japan. So I really liked him. Grab this cute little uh, vintage Christmas ornament. And I found, and I just realized there's a chip out of it. So I'm probably gonna end up, I don't know if anybody will buy it, but it is a primary color Pyrex bowl. And it does have, you know, it's not perfect. You can see. So obviously I'm not gonna get, you know, a really good uh, resale value on it but I really didn't pay much for it. I think I might have paid, well, I paid, I think $5 for the bowl, this guy, and this little decoration. So, I mean, even if I could sell it for like $12, $15, whatever, I mean, I would be more than happy with that. As a matter of fact, I might even sell that small yellow primary um, color bowl with this and get rid of both of them. So, because that one had, you know, some issues as well. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, that's what I got at the first sale. All right. Let me slide this over here out of my way. All right. Then we stopped at, um, I think it was the one where my boss was <laughs> and I purchased grab this stuff I didn't buy much um the guy had vintage cookie cutters for two dollars a piece so you know this goes I'm trying to keep the stuff together that I purchased you know trying to remember we were in and out of my aunt's truck about 5,000 times yesterday. And she has a great big diesel truck, okay? I'm not young anymore, you know? Getting up and down out of that thing, holy moly. But anywho, um, so I grabbed, I, this was my favorite one. Well, I got this biscuit cutter one, but my favorite one is this uh, gingerbread guy. Very, very cool. So 
So that's what, two, four. Purchase this vintage potato peeler. Uh, I think I spent, oh, and then I got this. So I got these here and I think I spent $6. I'm not positive. I want to say six or seven dollars. I don't know. Two, four, six. Yeah, I think it was seven dollars. So, but I was I was all right with that. All right. Oh no, I lied. I got this as well. And I am keeping a hold of it for this video, but I gotta bring it to work. Uh one of the girls I work with loves Betty Boop. So when I saw that, I said, Oh, I gotta grab it. Yeah, so I think it was seven dollars for all of these things. What is it? It says Betty Boop. Uh, and then it's made in China. But anyway, she'll she'll love that. All right. So then we stopped at I don't remember which one, but we're gonna go with this one here. I picked up one of those the vintage. Um, fold out rulers, which of course it needs a little bit of Earl, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was really cool. So I grabbed that. I grabbed this little vintage scoop. I think that's so cool. I love it. This little guy is adorable. He is a planter. And he's made in Italy. And I only paid a quarter for him. Hmm. Now those are the prices I'm talking about. One quarter. And then for $5, I purchased this. <laughs> Let me see if I can kind of pick it up and show you. This very, very cute, tiny, I would say it's probably 12, 12 inches, 10, 12 inch tree. And it is ceramic. I love the snow on the branches. And I only paid $5 for this cutie. So if anybody's interested, I'm probably going to list it in my Etsy shop. Uh either there or eBay. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. I'm trying to get a few more things in my Etsy shop, so we'll see. But I thought that was adorable. And that was all that we got, I got from that particular place. Um, then we stopped at another place, and all I could find was this very cool, um, Cotillion Vintage Avon Bottle uh, to add to my collection in my bathroom. It still has cologne in it. I'm sure you could see it in there. And I'm just trying to see if it has a date anywhere, but it doesn't. But I only paid 50 cents for it, so. I just really like the bottle. It's very cool. Um... Then we stopped, there was, um, there was a lot of like block yard sales, like uh, house after house after house, which was nice. Um, this lady had some beautiful things. I thought that this vase was just gorgeous. And it's actually, it is a swan. And it's got the flowers and there's his wings. And the flowers up here. And I mean, there are no chips or cracks or anything. I paid $2 for it. And I'm trying to, I can't, I don't know. It says BC. And then it's, I don't know what this says. Maybe you guys can help me out. I, I'm not sure. Is that upside down? Does it go this way? V, is it V-E, 
What the heck does that say? I don't know, but maybe you guys can help me out. I don't know if it goes this way or this way. It, it looks upside down this way, so I don't know. V-E-A, I don't know. But anyways, I just thought it was a gorgeous piece. Two dollars. Then I bought these two really pretty gold um, deer. These were 50 cents each. I thought these were very pretty. They would look beautiful displayed at Christmas time. Then I purchased this beautiful um, depression glass, green depression glass, and I'm pretty positive it is Vaseline glass or uranium glass. It's got that pretty swirl pattern and it was only a dollar. Um, it might have had a lid at one time. It could be like a powder jar. Um, but you know what? Even without the lid, it's beautiful and it could be used as a candy jar or whatever. I mean, it's it's very, very pretty. I knew I should have brought my purple light. You know what? Let me go get it. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm never prepared. And it's not a purple light. It's actually considered a black light, but it shines purple. Uh, okay, so let's see if I am correct. And I am. Look at how that baby glows. I love doing this. <laughs> I was talking to one of my subscribers the other day about how cool it is when you shine the light on it and it glows. I love it. So, yep. So that's definitely the Vaseline glass. And then she had a bunch of holiday stuff, and she said all the holiday stuff was 50% off. So I purchased these two sets of candles. Um, I'm not really sure how much these were originally, but look how cute these Santa candles are. <laughs> and then I saw these ghost ones for Halloween. I love them. And I have... Um, candle holders that I can put them in. So, so I grabbed these. And what else did I grab? Is that it? I guess that's it. Hmm. Or no. No, I got that at the other house. I guess that was all I got at that place. So, all right. So we got those things slide these back. All right. And then on the way home, we're driving and we see an estate sale sign. So, and it said 50% off of certain colored tagged items. So they had yellow, green, orange, yellow, green, orange, and something else. And whatever color it was, they had a certain percentage off next to it. So like orange was 50%, yellow was 25%, you know, and so on. So um, basically everything I got was 50% off. So I had to get this guy just because I love his face. He was 50 cents and I just think he's so cute. And he's actually from Grand Venture. 1997 so I just I love him I think he's so cute and I think it'll look really cool with a um uh one of those uh touch lights inside so yeah he was very cool um all right let me grab this without breaking it easily hang on um you guys know I have my hens on nests but this one is a little bigger than the big one I have and I like it because it's got the the tail like that so I got this and this was um oh my god 
I don't even remember what she was asking for. I want to say I got it for two fifty. Okay. Um, so I got the pumpkin, the hen, and the nest, and then I got this blendo bowl, and it's really in awesome shape. Um, there's really not a whole lot wrong with this bowl, and it comes with, oh my goodness, a set of six of these little bowls. You get two orange, two green, and two purple. And they're all in excellent shape. Really, no paint loss. Um, all the gold um, is on the rims. And I paid $5 for this set. That's it, $5. It, it cost me $8 and some change at this house. Um, and then I got this little Avon uh, perfume decanter owl. And one of my subscribers again was telling me that she had this little owl. And I actually, um, I saw them someplace else, but they wanted a ridiculous price for it. And this little guy, I think I might have paid a quarter for. So I think he's so cute. Yeah, so I paid like $8.50, I think, for the Blendo set, the Hen on the Nest, the Pumpkin, and my little owl. You cannot beat that, boy, I'm telling you. See, that's my kind of sales, when you really get a fabulous bargain. So, yes, that was that sale. And then the last sale, um, and I remember going to this house last year when we went to Wilson. Um, this guy has a whole ton of stuff, and it's like all set up. His house is set way back, and then the whole front lot, he sets up a, a flea market. And um, let me move some of this stuff out of the way so I can get at it. Um, I only uh, bought a couple things from him. So I have this Hazel Atlas strawberry already that I purchased at an estate sale. But mine, the stem is broken off. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, goody, I can grab this one and keep this one and see if I could sell the one with the broken stem. Don't know if it'll sell, but if not, I can always re-donate it. So I grabbed that. In fact, here's my one with the, with the broken stem. Damn it. <laughs> I hate when that happens, but I grabbed it just because I wanted it. And I figured if I found another one, with the stem, I'll grab it. As a matter of fact, um, Michelle over at Thrifting 101, she actually thrifted one and I wanted to buy it, but she had already sold it. So that's the way it goes. Um, I purchased a couple of milk glass bottles for uh, my bathroom decor. <laughs> You guys all seem to like my little uh, milk glass and Avon collection in my bathroom, so thank you. Uh, this one just says, shake well. Satisfaction guaranteed. And on the bottom, it just it doesn't say anything. It's got a number. And this one says, Abbott on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can turn it to where you can see it sort of, Abbott, and I have no idea what was in here, but I just liked the bottle, and I could always put some little uh, flowers coming out of it, I thought would be really cute, and I got, grabbed this. It's all steamed up because I washed it. It's this really cute mid-century modern pattern, 
And I just loved it. And I thought, wow, how cute is that? This would look cute in my bathroom too. And it has the lid. I love it. It's like an apothecary jar. But look at how cool, look at how mid-century modern those designs are. I forget what they call these hours, oh, wow. but yeah, it's very, very cool. We'll leave the lid off. It's unsteamed. Um, I think that's it, you guys. Um, that's everything that we got at the yard sales and stuff on the way and coming home. From Wilson. Um, I'm going to save the stuff that I got at the Wilson Flea Market for another haul video because if I showed that now, it'd be too long of a video. So, I mean, I'm already, well, you know what? I'm not even at 10 minutes yet. Maybe I can. Yeah, why not? Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, let's finish up this haul and I'm going to save the my favorite thing for last. All right, so here we are at the flea market. And like I said, some of the prices, well, not some, most of the prices were absolutely through the roof. So I did manage to purchase um, this very cool Sunkissed Milk Glass Juicer Reamer. It's in really great condition. Um, no, no chips, cracks, anything. Um, I got this for $3. She had a little hen on a nest. I don't remember what this was. It's Hazel Atlas, but I don't remember how much she charged me for that. Uh, by this time, I was, like, so tired, I was, like, shopped the hell out. <laughs> so, um, and then I picked up this mid-century modern cocktail shaker. Um, you know, it does have a few issues. Oh, actually, no, that's dirt. Um, oh, look, and there's bird poop on it. Isn't that special? I wonder if she charged me extra for that. <laughs> oh, Ew. Anyways, it's by Miro. And it's very cool. Hmm. Yeah, so I grabbed those three things from one woman. Then I bought this beautiful um, old rosary. It's very pretty. You can see the beads there. So I picked that up. That was a um, dollar. Then from another guy, I purchased this um, Humpty Dumpty Bank. Uh, it was $3, and it was from the original sticker that I just threw out like a dummy. Uh, said it was from the 40s. So I thought he was awesome. I really, really like him. Uh, let's see. Then, um... I don't think I got any anything else from this guy other than the Humpty Dumpty. Then from someone, I bought this box of vintage chalk. I just thought it looked awesome. Love the graphics. Very cool. It was only 10 cents. Well, back then. And then I purchased this very cool... Hershey's 1934 cookbook. I love this. I love the picture on the front. And let's see. They have all kinds of recipes. And, oh, look, it's in a green depression glass bowl. That's cool. 
Uh, what else do we got? Oh, look at that. Look at that coffee pot. Aren't we fancy? Yeah, so I had to have that. I'm going to put this out with my other um, cookbook over there. Then I purchased, it came in the box and everything. This is so cool. Um, actually, did I get this? I don't know where I got this, but look at this. Glamour Hostess. No, Glamour and the Hostess. This is hilarious. This is probably where June Cleaver um, learned how to be a mom. Let's check this out. A guide to Canadian table setting. Let me see. Oh, look at that. How pretty. Let's see what else do we have. Oh, look at this one. I just thought this was so cool and I cannot believe that it came in this box. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. This was in there. Oh my God, how cool is this you guys? <laughs> oh my God, this is awesome. Oh, my word. That was in the bottom of the box. All right. And this was the box that it came in. So funny. All right. Uh, so, like I'm saying, I these are not, I don't know if they're all from which sellers. The only one I knew for sure that I got all from one seller was these milk glass, and the uh, cocktail shaker. Um, all right. Then from somebody else, I purchased these two Avon milk glass containers. I absolutely love them. Um, it had Avon Moon Wind Powder Sachet. And it has the little shaker top. And it still smells. How cool. So you guys know where these are going. And then I've never seen the blue milk glass. How cool is this? How pretty. Look at that. It's got a little bird. It looks like an owl or something in there. And it just says Avon on the bottom. Don't know what, hey, 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 settle down, kids. My cats. Um, yeah, this was so cool. I don't know if there's anything in here. Oh, it still, still smells, but I don't think there's anything in there. Wow, that's strong. Ooh. Oh, the toilet, forget toilette. That's. Okay, um, I also grabbed this very cool uh, salt or pepper shaker with the red lid. I love, I just love the red lid and I like the shape. So this is going to go with my other red and white items over there. Um, okay, so we went through these items. Let me put this back over here. Okay. This is the coolest thing ever. And if anybody has like a, a mid-century modern bar in their house, this would be perfect. Check this out. <laughs> Look at this guy. How cool is he? It's got the six shot glasses that hang off of the side. 
Let me show you his face. <laughs> he is the cat's pajamas. He's from Japan. There's a sticker on the bottom, but I don't want to tip it over. How cool is he? And I think I only paid like $3 for him. I'm like, all the prices are just, you know, they've all gone together in my head because we, we bought and stopped at so many places. I can't remember anything anymore. But yeah, this, this guy was cool. So I grabbed him up. Along with, I think I paid two bucks for these items. These are very cool. This from the same lady that I bought the dog thing there. And they pop open. They pop open like this. So there's this one, and then there is this pretty uh, basket of flowers. And I thought that these might look pretty out at Valentine's Day. Um, I could put them in my, my metal flower frogs that I found recently. So yes, so I grabbed those two. And that's it, except my final item. That is all I got at the actual flea market, guys. But my favorite find was this. Um, service for four Pyrex. We have the cups, four cups. The saucers. the salad plate or luncheon plate and the dinner plates. There's the Pyrex sign on the back or stamp, I should say. And I got the service for four for 10 bucks. I just think they're beautiful. I wish she would have had another service for four because I would have bought them for myself. This is not enough for uh, my family, but they're absolutely beautiful. And there are no chips or cracks on any of the pieces. So I, this was my favorite find at the flea market. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous. So these are also going to be listed in my eBay. Okay, that is it, guys. So I think we did really, really well. Had a lot of fun. Very tired. I'm still recuperating. But it was so worth it. And there's going to be a lot of things coming up, guys. So be prepared because I will be at all of these um, things that are coming up. I did mention, I think, in my last video, um, church rummage sales and the 10-mile yard sale in Lewiston, New York. And yeah, plus, of course, yard sales, estate sales, Holy Trinity you know, the whole nine yards. So be prepared for a lot of haul videos, guys. And shop with me too. All right, that's going to do it. See you in my next video, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I just want to thank you guys for sticking with me. I love you guys. Bye for now.